Well, hello again. It's time for another lesson because we have to keep the educational process moving, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I'm at Drakewell Museum. And right now I'm going to show you this, though, because they have not only is the gate closed to get in, but they put cones down. That's how deadly the coronavirus is, uh, because cones will stop it, is what I've been told. I'm just kidding. I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm making hand gestures. You can't even see them. All right. But one of the things outside the gate we're going to take a picture of here and talk about is a central powerhouse. Now, we have the pump jacks that we use in the store, in the shop, and it's a single motor driving one, uh, one well at a time. Okay. Well, back in the day, they could use one motor to drive multiple pump jacks. And one of the things that you have here, this is a central powerhouse right here. Hold on, let me see if I can get it in frame. There we go. This is a central powerhouse. Now, it was belt driven, so they would have had a um, hit and miss engine running on it. Probably something in the line of, like, the ones that we have are horsepower, one and a half, two maybe. Uh, this would have been, like, 20 which doesn't seem like a lot, but a 20 horsepower hit and miss engine has a heck of a lot of torque. And what would happen was this would be driven by a belt. Okay, belt would go on here. Usually it's a canvas, uh, like almost like a fire hose kind of material belt. That would turn this gear, which would then turn this gear. Gotta hold the phone down there, Parsons. Would turn this gear, which would turn these units up here. Now, what was interesting was these didn't just spin around okay they move sort of like if you put your hand like this and pardon the glove uh, yeah I'm, I'm i decided for a fashion statement it would move like this okay it would move around in this sort of shape it's not spinning it's sort of like a pancake just kind of flat out there and each one of these holes if you look right here each one of these holes and these connectors would be connected to a rod that rod we run out to a pump jack, and all it was was an arm, and this would pull the arm back and pull that head up on the pump jack, and then the weight of the string in the ground, the sucker rods, would pull that back down in the ground. But as this moved, you've got to think about it. Let's say you had, on this one here, there's probably 24 holes, okay? So this one wheel could run 24 pump jacks. If you've got two wheels, that's 48 pump jacks running off of one little tiny 20 horsepower hit and miss engine. So what would happen was this thing would be spinning, but you have to think about it as, as a well is all the way up over here, over on this side, the well's coming down. Okay, so the force is, it's moving, not only is the, the well being moved by the force of the hit and miss, but also by the force of the... Uh, sucker rods and the wells on the opposite side as one's coming up the opposite one is going down it's all the way down so think about it. it's sort of like if you've ever seen in the stadium when people do the wave and it goes around picture that but at one point everybody is slightly up and then they're up to the peak and then on the other side they're slightly down and everybody's you know sitting down again so that's what this did, and it was a way to maximize the amount of energy being used for the process, okay? So, just something kind of interesting, and this is a big unit. I mean, obviously, I'm standing next to it. Um, there are some that are bigger. There are some that are smaller. If we could actually get into Drake Well, I would show you the smaller ones because they have a really cute one over by the uh, entrance to the main museum. So, at some point, we'll get in there, I'm sure, you know, because you know me. <laughs> If there's a back door, I'll find it somewhere into this place. So, um, but for right now, that's your lesson for today. I'm holding another four minutes of your life gone away, but I'm sure you'll be fine. All right, next lesson's coming up. Talk to you later. Doodles.